Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna take a break from Slender probably for a while, and wow, this is loud. Ethan gave me this suggestion for this game, Project Zomboid. He said, first off, he said it's not a horror game, so anybody can watch it. He said it was a survival realistic type thing, so I guess I'm gonna be fending off the zombies, and I thought I'd play it for a little bit, see how it went, see how much fun I could have. And I've never played this before, he just showed it to me, and all I've done is I've turned it on and I looked at the options and stuff and the controls. But other than that, uh, I have not s played this at all. So I guess I'm gonna try survival mode because that may be the easiest. Oh boy, lots of reading. Muldrog, I'm guessing this is... I don't know. <laughs> Muldrog, population 3566. Maldred is a small town in an area the locals know as Knox Country, the dead center of the state, the dead center of the state of Kentucky. Figured it was Kentucky. It grew as an army town, but now welcomes folks from all walks of life. Some commuters to the bigger t towns nearby, some military families, and some living below the poverty line. It's a small place filled with good people, not to mention Spiffo's finest chicken and biscuits this side of Kentucky. Sure, not much happens here, but that doesn't mean Maldrug life is dull. Maldrug. Finest chicken and biscuits. So it's better than KFC? Well, I don't know. Save name. Nick Tornhill. We'll just go with that. Nick Tornhill. With an exclamation point. Next. Forename, surname. Well, I get to choose. It's almost like an RPG. That's cool. I'm guessing forename is is uh, first name. Nick. And Morgan should be last name. So Thornhill. Gonna be a uh, male. Oh, mail was already selected. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, beard option. That's what went off. I was wondering what went off when we changed to a woman. Oh, dang it. Change the name again. Crap. Uh, Nick. Uh, Thornhill. Yay. Alright. Body type. Oh, I could be black. Or I could be... Okay, it looks like my options are black, 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 white, white, or white. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a lot of options there. You don't, you don't see that much in games. Brown hair. We'll go with, we'll go... We can't hardly see. We'll go with that type of beard. I haven't shaved in a while. I will though eventually. Next. Oh my gosh. Huh. Let's go with security guard. I'm gonna be a security guard. And traits. Well, I don't know if I can add traits. Points to spend. Requires little sleep and stays extra alert even while sleeping. That's really the only one I'm allowed to use now. Dang it. Because I have no points. Let's just play. So my only trait is I'm an owl. These are end times. My only trait is I'm a night owl. These are end times. There was no hope of survival. No hope of survival. This is how you died. Aw, oh, dang it. Really? I don't want to die. Not yet. I have so much to live for. I didn't want to die yet. Man, this is so slow. I even have plenty of time to read it. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's nine o'clock. I got pants, shoes, and sweater on. 
You're not going to survive long if you don't take some deep breaths and learn the basics. Control yourself. Don't run. Survivors who run rapidly become survivors who are dead. <laughs> okay. Precision, people. You are fighting the undead. To puncture a skull requires effort. Charge and swing. <laughs> Alrighty then. Water, way to go. Clean water is vital to your continued survival. Yeah, this game's gonna be realistic. I'm gonna die. Because I dehydrate. Not in my life. Not in my life. Crafty so and so. Zombies claw at doors and windows. If in doubt, barricade. Avoid deep peeping toms. They may be dead, but they can still see through windows. No curtains? Improvise. Oh, so they're gonna watch me shower? <sighs> they're lost. Cook it up. Food poisoning isn't fun. During the apocalypse, it isn't, is, it's even less fun. A hot meal goes a long way. Loot astute. I think that's how you say it. Astute? Loot astute? Yeah, loot astute or something like that. Managing your inventory quickly and efficiently saves you time and often your life. Okay. Just going through the basics again. Alright. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Okay, that's not a door. That's not how I get out of the house. The door's right there. Running a shift. Is that an electric fence? Oh, it's not. Did I jump? Nope. Running on a shift, though. What am I doing in the trees? Man, you're gonna have a problem. Man, you're gonna have a problem. Oh, oh, take that. Take that. Yeah. Ugh. No. No! Dude, it's not working. It's not working. Are you... All I'm doing is pushing him away. Run! They said not to run, but I'm doing it anyways. Look at me. Oh boy, this is going to be entertaining. He just said, hey, play this. He didn't tell me how to play. But it's okay, because I'll figure it out eventually. Back in the house. It's either not my house or they locked me out. Oh, stealth mode. Swag. Oh. Moonwalk. Mm, 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 mm. What's over here? Dude, what you doing in my house? What you doing by my house, Brosif? Punch, punch, punch. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Help, I'm lost and I don't know what I'm doing. That's... What are these? Panic. Pain. Like... Why am I unpleasantly hot? Consider resting or less exposed. Thirst increased. Crap! My thirst has increased. I think this is where I live. Where do I live? Dude, running sideways. Oh, yes. Right <laughs> oh, yeah. Thirsty, ah, oh, dang it. Oh, it's open, thank God. Because I apparently can't get into my own house. No! I'm supposed to open the door. Open the door. Oh my gosh. No! No, I'm not panicking. There's no reason to panic. I'm just fighting zombies. Mosh pit! Let's open this pit up. Let's open this pit up. Let's, let's open. You survived for six hours. So here I thought I'd try my luck at last stand mode. Everything. It's all about last stand. It's all or nothing. 
bunch of zombies are gonna come and kill me. And I just gotta try to last as long as I can. I got some good weapons. Let's just hope that's enough. There's already one on his way in here. Alrighty then. I'm already starting to panic. There's nothing to worry about. Huh. That's awesome. Took two out at once. Oh. You can quote it too. Taunt him a little bit. I, I definitely thought this was going to be a lot more... A lot more of a last stand than it let on. Oh, there's one. Okay, that's not too bad. Are they all hiding upstairs? Oh, geez. Never mind, there's a couple already on the way. I got them both, it's funny. Spread shot. Whoa! Alrighty then. Probably ought to reload this shotgun. Whoa! Rosif. Alrighty then. Whoa! There we go. Took out the one outside too. There's one over there. Whoa! My perception. My act. Yep, yeah, accuracy and vision is way down. Now I hear a faint heartbeat in the back. In the. I can hear it. Can you not get in? Alright. So far so good. What the crap? As soon as I gotta film this. It just decides to not have any zombies. Really? Come on, man. Somebody's here. Where yet? Uh oh. Hey. Oh. Oh crap. Oh crap. Alright, now how do I do this? Unequip. No, it won't let me unequip it. No. Unequip. Unequip the shot. Yep, okay. 13 minutes and 50 seconds. Because for some reason it, I don't know how to un unequip the shotgun. Well, I guess that wasn't too bad. Thanks for watching. Uh... We wanted to do something a little different. Ethan sent me the game and told me he really wanted me to try it out. Uh, I was a little nervous about it, but I think I did a good job, and I hope you guys think so too. I'll probably want to do another Project Zomboid playthrough later, because I'm starting to get the hang of it. Maybe do another Last Stand or two. I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Let us know what you think. Crazy, but that's how it goes.